Erdogan calls on Putin to make honorable exit from war. Here's a summary of the article. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has called on his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin to make an honorable exit from the war in Ukraine as the conflict continues to rage. Speaking to reporters in Brussels during a NATO summit on Thursday, the Turkish president said he would be talking to Putin at the weekend to try and convince him to end the fighting in Ukraine. Due to worldwide sanctions, many international companies and Russian oligarchs have left Russia, with some ending up in Turkey. Two super yachts belonging to the sanctioned Russian billionaire Roman Abramovic docked in Turkish ports earlier this week. Erdogan said Turkey would welcome any international companies leaving Russia. Erdogan said Turkey and Russia were also negotiating a way to use the ruble and Turkish lira for tourism as Putin promised the Turkish leader he would encourage Russians to travel to Turkey. We are purchasing half of our gas from Russia, Erdogan said. This post received a score of 23,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Putin may have absolutely failed on his plans for a quick successful invasion of Ukraine, but he has managed to make me agree with something Recep Erdogan said. That's a pretty big achievement. This war has been a boon for Turkey's international standing. I feel like their position has been understood by everyone and their diplomatic efforts have been very active, useful and appreciated by everyone. They are playing their cards very well. Trust me that's one hell of a shock especially if you are Turkish. We know for a fact that anything Erdogan says ends up in catastrophe but this time he is surprising the shit out of me. He was also smart letting the foreign affairs minister, who is less known abroad but has a way more positive image, leading the efforts and getting the exposure. That's exactly right. Glad to see you agree. This is a good opportunity for the EU and Turkey to repair their relationship and work more collaboratively from now on. It would be beneficial for both sides, so I hope we make the most of this chance. I genuinely hope this lasts for long and not for a short period. As someone who lives in Turkey, I can assure you that every single bit of decision he took up until this point dragged us deeper down the shithole. It eventually came to a point where Europe basically fucking thought we were a bunch of clowns, rightfully so. He is still a horrendous president but his stance in such situation shows me he also ain't no slouch. Exactly, and what you describe in your last sentence is key. In the end, both the EU and Turkey's interests align. Europe's prosperity and safety benefit massively from a prosper and safe Turkey, and vice versa. That's what we need to work for and seeing this display from Turkey makes us be a bit more optimistic about it. Regardless of their political stance it makes me happy to see both sides respect each other civil-wise. I mean, I lived in Italy for four years. I d give my left nut to live there once again but hey, Erdo fuck the economy up to oblivion. Right nut. Take it or leave it. Hard to do any honorable thing if you have zero honor. Seppuku? Seppuku is actually only for the honor of samurai. Putin is neither a samurai nor has any honor. Assisted involuntary surprise seppuku then. Like Gaddafi. Septic puku. There it is, gentlemen. Pack it up. It's over. Just curious how someone honorably exits a war that they started. Do you just go, oops sorry my bad bro won't happen again? And how to explain to Russian people that whole country now kaput for long time because of a war we didnt win? Not a single positive thing came out of this for anyone. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.